Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to A Patient Gamer Plays Divinity Original Sin 2. This is Jarek Defiler, your host, and in the last video we went and cleared out Radeka's little witch lair over there, freed us a blue dragon. I think we freed some piggies too. And this round we are going to do the maze here, and I think the pirate, if we have enough time, the pirate... Uh, I don't know if it's a quest line. I mean, I guess it is a quest line, but you know, just to get the pirate set pieces. The little pirate king guy or whatever he is. So, let's see. Do I, have my, I think I already sold everything in my inventory last video. Um, yeah, I think I'll keep that in there for now. Got all these jars. Those will come in handy a little, a little later. Uh, we're at the secret camp. Everybody's all sad because everybody that did. This goes well. I'd hate to think what'd come of Leia if we don't pull this off. I know, I know. The battle nears. Good to have you with us. Thank you. Who? I pray this goes well. Okay. What's this? Oh, you found the supplies. The Magisters aren't as thorough as I presumed. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's level 7. Mm. There's no way I'm going to be able to break that, so we're going to have to conjure the Incarnate. Have him smack it open for us. 50. How much does... Does he do more damage if I actually... Does he do more damage to the chest? Let's see. Never actually tested this out. I would assume so. Why wouldn't he, right? Uh, yep, now we're doing 64. Ooh. This is the best lock opener ever. <laughs> really good sound assets, too. Smash. Let me smacks it. That's awesome. <laughs> Whoa, look at all these goodies. Ah, uh, shield. Fortify scroll, that's good. Can use that. Bunch of resurrection scrolls, good money. And more money stuff. You can keep the bread and potatoes. Let's see what I got here. Stares at the body of magisters. I'll kill everyone that I see slowly. Do what you gotta do, man. Alright, let's see. A shield and a helm. I think that's it. Alright, any any of these an upgrade? One to finesse, two to wits, one to summoning. Uh, yeah, that's definitely an upgrade. And the only downside is I will lose on Necromancer, which I kind of need. The main reason being that I need Blood Rain for the guy that's... a raining blood for the guy that is in the maze. You'll see that once we come to it. So I'm just going to keep this other helmet around then. Um... Because I'm going to need that Necromancer ability. And then... That's really good, though. One to finesse, which is fine. Don't really need finesse, but, you know, whatever. And... Two to wits, which is awesome. Bumps me up to crit, 16 crit chance. But the one to summoning, that's, that's the kicker right there. Break down. So now we are sitting at 12 summoning, which means our guy's doing 120% more damage, vitality, armor, and physical damage, or physical armor as well. Magic armor, that's really cool. Um, one to constitution, perseverance, yeah, don't need that right in this moment. So we can get rid of you, and we'll keep everything else. Nope, get rid of you too. Um, think... I'm going to keep the resurrection scrolls for when I get that ashen statue thing. So I can make basically a um, kind of like a phoenix down kind of thing that just happens automatically. Alright, let's see. Anything else I can get while I'm here? Actually, no, because I'm almost level 8. So I'll be upgrading soon. Alright, let's go and head down to... Well, we can go multiple ways. We can go up this side, or we can go from the front over here. Uh, I like the only downside to this is I don't have any teleporting or people to teleport with. So usually you can just get like a, a team member and then 
teleport um, like up here and then have have uh, them teleport you around the maze but like I can't so I'm gonna have to probably go around the front unless there's a mines or something I don't think there is um, any other back ways up here no no maybe there's one over here there we go I knew there were some mines around here somewhere so cool beans gotta get rid of these don't want you and I don't want you go away do I have my fortify scroll I do not whoops you I do want man I gotta use these traps remember to use the traps Jared um can put these healing potions away because I'm not going to be using those anytime soon in fact we can put all the potions away because they already have them on the hot bar as well as the scrolls I'm gonna better situate that I guess there's no limit on what you can put where so yeah it's just better for categorizing which is cool wow that's worth oh because <laughs> the dread and I that's worth a lot of money I was about to say all right I think there's a rat around here somewhere what's this let's read this heavily damaged tome appears to be the travel log of an adventurer. He led an expedition into Reaper's Eye, aiming to uncover the secrets of Bracchus Rex. He compiled all the rumors of Bracchus's bounty, including gold, gems, and a legendary pair of gauntlets called the Devourer's Claws. Everyone has a story about Bracchus Rex. Half of them are lies, and the rest is hiding some tiny sliver of the truth. We're still hunting, though, and I won't stop until I find his greatest treasures. Those gauntlets will be mine. It'll be easy to take my share of the gold with that kind of power in my hands. Now I just need to track down that damn tyrant's tower. So this is just letting you know, hey, you got the uh, Bracchus Rex's gloves in the tower. Which I don't really care, because again, I don't really care for that set. It's, by the time you get the full set, it's kind of like you're out-leveled. Usually. I'm sure there's like a, a way to do it specifically, but uh, yeah. I'm just like, eh. The stone gargoyle trains glistening agate eyes upon you. Its jaws creak open, raining dust as it begins to speak. You are not Bracchus Rex. Lie, of course you are. Admit you aren't, but ask if you may enter here anyways. Take your leave. Um, let's admit we are. You may. You may stay forever. Each lock opens only with a soul. And how many of those does one mortal have? Maybe you'll find some in the garden. Or maybe your soul will help the next adventurer through. Say you'll take your chances. Undead, if called you mortal, tell it that your mortality is up for some debate. Hesitate. Perhaps I'll wait. Let's do the undead. Mysterious. Alright. Say I'd like to enter. Better save here. Just in case. They always do. <laughs> I like the gargoyles. They're a fun bunch. Yeah. All right, so with the maze here, you have to do what he said. You just got to collect souls that'll be lying around in different areas. Usually, like, might be, like, a little puzzle or something. You don't want to get on the trap. Um, what's up here? Eee, nice little view. Until you get out of the camera angle. And there's okay so if we get in that one see, this is like where the teleportation teleportation would come in handy but I can't teleport myself unfortunately so we just got to do what we got to do what do you say Locked tight oh surely there's another skull around here somewhere surely Eee, miss me. Careful now, that's a trap. More traps? No. Oh. So we can just look around, see what's up. Oh, that reminds me, we're gonna have to go back. Actually, we should probably do that first, to be honest. 
uh, we have to go get a source point in order to bless that guy. I think there's some source in there, but I'd rather be full after. Because that's the guy we're going to need to use the blood rain on. Something that I would have never figured out on my own. The only way I did it was having to look it up online many moons ago. Boop, doop, 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 doop. And head back over there. I mean, I could make this easier and just get a um, teammate to, to join me and then we can go in there and just do the maze together. But like, eh. Or I could teleport into the back way, but I just really don't want to. I want to try to do this solo. You know what I mean? If you can. Me? Mm -hmm. No. Beep. Oh, it doesn't even hit it. Lame. Alright, well, we can take this and put it on the button in the middle. Oh. Unless, of course, freaking Sir Laura gets in the way. Like a moron. Pick it up. Thank you very much, sir. Hey, that gives us a crumbling skull over here. Now, which way do we want to go? We can go in here and then pop out here and do that side. Or we could go up here and do this guy, which I kind of want to do. Um... But you gotta, I gotta remember where the other skulls are. It's been a while, so like, there's one that we can get in there, and I forget if I get a skull in here or not. But there is one, I believe, in here that pops out. So mm, and these are like, I think, traps. I don't know. I can save it here and just find out. Do some saves coming. Because it's been a while since I did the maze solo. Usually I just have uh, other team members or I'll have the um, wings. So I can just like kind of fly up onto the platforms and stuff. And it just makes it like super easy. I never actually like, I haven't really. Now these skulls crumble to dust after one use. Like played it for the like regularly. Taps one stony claw in a while. As it rasps a message to you. Bring me this, wanderer. How would mighty Brachus douse a man on fire? <laughs> he would do it with blood. Oh dear. Alright, let's see which one of these do I remember was the biggest threat. I think at the start it was this guy. Forever. Alright, so these guys... 100% air resistance seem to be immune to fire I assume because they're all flaming so we could do oil we could do water or we could do blood but I think mm, they have a lot of magic uh, well this guy doesn't this one has a lot of magic armor this one's kind of middle of the road. It's a good at representation of just the different types. You have the, the warfare guy that's all strength here. And you have the magic guy that's all magic here. That's why he has little physical armor. This guy has mostly physical armor. And then you have this guy who's the finesse guy. So he has a decent mix of physical and magic armor. But not neither is you know really high compared to these two. So it's kind of, kind of cool. Um, yeah, is this... Why is this here? Get away. How could I... Should I do this? That is one benefit of having lore masters. You can actually see their weaknesses and stuff. 
because I'm not sure if these guys are immune to fire or not. I'm assuming they are because they're standing in it. should probably switch out my wand here to do fire and air, if I'm thinking. Yeah. Oh, relax. Alright, let's do a oil guy. Well, or should we do a water guy? Can make a water balloon. Do water guy. But then, and he can heal too, which is cool. So, is it Necrofire? No. Alright, so maybe let's go after this guy first. And then do a water incarnate. And we should probably buff him with. I want to buff him with magic or physical. Let's try physical, because I think both of these guys are going to be physical, mostly. And then we'll have you cast that on him. So he'll be taking some damage there. And smacky smacky. And we'll end the turn. Bink. Wow, look at that. Okay, so fire does heal. Are we? You guys are going down. You're going down. Ooh. That hurt. Good thing I put the magic armor on. Oh, I know I didn't. I put physical armor on him. <laughs> Crap. He still has a decent amount of health pool. Forever. Sir Laura, you better live through this, man. Okay, I could do... I'm assuming... Well, let's. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna buff myself. And I'm gonna buff him. I can sit here for a little while. It's gonna be okay. Alright, let's get. I need a. Like, water. There's a. Do I, have, I have. Okay, there we go. Water. Beautiful. And then. Should I just give myself some armor of frost? I think so, because that looks like what I'm taking the most of. Hey, we. Marksman Fangs passes through armor, which is why that does some, so much damage. Okay, I can hit him from here. Or should I just get up there? Can I, do I have enough to get up there in Whirlwind? It's going to cost two action points. Yes, I do. Okay. I don't know if I can kill both of them. Oop, I'm slow now. But I can do a decent amount of damage. Okay, got one. And if this guy tries to move, he's dead next turn. Oh, maybe not. Oh, no, he'll still die. He's getting healed up. Ooh, that's some heavy damage. Look at that. Ouch. Doing a lot to my... Uh, Incarnate's magic damage. I don't think I buffed him. That's probably why. It's okay. It's okay. We got this. I'm just going to stand here because I'm standing in fire, so I'll just take unnecessary damage. Alright, doing some pretty decent damage there. The, with the air wands and water wands. Cool, cool. Man, he does some damage, this guy. You are a heavy hitter. Alright, high grounded. Bonus. Bam. Now go down there and say hi. Oh, I can actually get another hit. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> I love the animations when he's casting the wand. It's pretty dope. Look at this guy. Look at how awesome that is. Isn't that just like the coolest freaking looking thing? The water elemental. I, th I think like the fire one might be my favorite, but this one's a contender. The poison one looks pretty... I mean, all of them look really awesome. I love the incarnate the, um, art style. It's just really cool. Okay, so... I'll uh, just 
quick save it. Or maybe I should have waited on that. I got auto saves, it's fine in case I, I can't get into the next room. Because again, it's been a while since I've done this the regular way. Alright, so in order to do this, we need to have Necromancer. And then blood rain so let's take we also need bless so let's take off um, fire dude get bless and take off just trying to make it so I can easily put these back in a spot that I know not that it really matters okay so we got bless we got blood rain so do the blood rain And then we need to teleport him into the blood. The uh, did I put him on? Yeah, where's my tail? Okay, there it is. And then, bless him. Okay, I was about to say. You, you released me, Elf. Long have I waited for this moment. Wonder aloud what he did to deserve such a punishment. Ask who did this to him. Obviously, you know who did it to him. Well, let's wonder aloud. A dry, rattling laugh rises from the figure's ancient gullet. This, this was a reward for doing my duty for fulfilling the wishes of one Brachus Rex. Do you know that name? Say you've heard of the Mad Source King and seen some of his handiwork around this place. The figure nods grimly. Mm, he did terrible things while trying to master Source, bend it to his will. I had a part in this, I must admit. Perhaps I deserve the flames. Ask what part he played in this. Was he a necromancer, a practitioner of dark arts? Say that this Brachus and his ilk have poisoned people's minds against innocent sorcerers. Eh, let's ask what part he played. No, no, I was a scholar, a librarian. Brachus sought the secrets of source, but he had no patience for sifting through ancient scrolls and tablets. I unearthed knowledge of a great power within those texts, a great and terrible power. One that Brachus coveted above all. Ask what it was that he discovered. Say that he was a fool to serve a tyrant. Scholar, mention that you wouldn't mind seeing some of these texts for yourself. Where might they be? Let's do the scholar route. The figure's ruined flesh curls into his skull. Long destroyed, surely. Brachus wanted no one to have that knowledge. He fed me to the flames so I'd keep my secret. He'd have no qualms about burning a few scrolls. Ask what it was that he discovered. Say that he was a fool. Ask what he discovered. The figure slowly shakes his head. I will not say that I spoke of it once and was damned to eternal hellfire for it. But I to speak of it again, I could damn the whole world. Say that it's been a long time. Brachus is gone. It can't hurt to say what it was that he sought. In tone that you could always force him to tell you what he want, what he knows. Say you're tired of listening to his riddle speak and turn to take your leave. Let's do number one. Brachus must have failed. Had he not, the world as you know it would be gone. What I learned of could still be out there. I will not speak of it. I won't risk having another Brachus discovering it. Yeah. Which one do I want to do? Better quick save it just in case. Uh, hopefully he gives me a soul. In tone that you could always force him to tell you. Say, I say I'm tired. Good. Were I to say any more, I'd only put you in danger. Leave this awful place. Go live your life. Forget about all this. It is best left buried. Tell him you're f you fully intend to ahem, live your life, then take your leave. Agree with a smile that some things are indeed best left buried, then take your life. Let's agree. Okay, well, I didn't get anything from that. 
so uh, you know I'm gonna load that because I'm, I'm curious I'm just curious of what happens if I try to force him if he'll give me something or if he'll tell me something I don't know no in tone how through violence oh, I've already suffered more than any would think possible there is nothing more that you can do to me my secret leaves this world with me good were I to say any more, I'd only put you in danger. Leave this awful place. Eh, I guess that's that. There has to be a way to get him to... to tell you, right? I don't know. I don't know, you guys. I don't know. I don't remember. Alright, let's put our usual stuff back. Uh, we'll get rid of the... Actually, I think I have more guys I fighter could be undead so maybe I should just keep the air wand for now uh, maybe fire water and fire could do that that's what I had before right or did I have the poison before I uh, can't remember you guys I think it was the fire because the poison yeah I don't really want that right now due to most of this stuff I'm fighting being undead. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can get another skull somewhere. Ooh, where am I? What the heck's going on? Yeah. Okay. Something's happening. Ooh, munchy crunchies. Yeah, that's a lot of... Ooh, there's a skull. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Speed. And... Is that it in here? Oh, there is a place over there that I'm sure I won't be able to reach. Okay, that's like, yeah, that goes to the next room. Oh, no. Oh, oh, man. That camera is bumping me all over the place. <laughs> Seeing if I can reach those dwarven remains where they go. Uh, I think they're too far. They were over here, right? Yeah, too far. That's fine. Let's go back out. So we got another school. And we could do this one. That will just take me to where those dwarven remains are. But I think there's like a way for me to get down here. Uh, yeah, that won't matter. Or will it? Because I know that you can get another skull right here. And you do want to get more skulls. Because I believe the more you get, then like the better the reward or something like that. But can we get all of them? <clears throat> or should we just go straight over here? Well, one way to find out. Save scum. Save scum travelings. So, let's... Dude. Well, let me see. I'm gonna need a bucket or something to put on that. Another skull crumbled to bits. Because this will bring up that. Can I pick up the vases? Maybe those are heavy enough. There we go. Let's see. Vols. Nope. Not heavy. I'm going to have to probably get a barrel. Alright, let's go back and get this guy. Oh, we can't because then it's going to close the door. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, no it's not. Cool. Thought it would. Haste. <laughs> Super encumbered. All right, so we can at least do that. Put you down here. Cool. And then, don't need the poison resistance in my hot bar. Do need to get rid of these other abilities though. Okay, so bless, get rid of you, and let's put back our fire dude. 
and let's put back our what was the other one we had oh I should the water keep the water infusion one huh um or maybe restoration to use against undead but yeah we did have this one <clears throat> yeah I'm gonna have to put another point into memory because I get in a lot of skills Neil all right let's see if we can figure this out use our brain power which I have very little of all right do I still have my gloves on nope fire scale uh, dwarven dagger right on right on another water resistance potion not bad hopefully that'll lead me to another no, no I don't think it will so I might have screwed myself in the scroll department. See, if I had the wings, I could just like fly down there. <laughs> Zoom out. I can't. Click it. There we go. Sweet. What fire skill book is it? Oh, just a blank one. Uh, do we want to keep that? Yeah, we can keep that. Why not? For now. And then let's see if we can get the... Dagger right there. I don't know if it's any good. But why not? Free money, right? Where is it? Eh, nah, it's not. It's nothing. <laughs> it's nothing. But that's okay. Quick. This is why you want to keep the gloves of teleportation around. I can't reach. Okay, so we're down here now. Which means we don't have any way of getting up there. So, we'll just use the teleportation to bring you over here. This gargoyle flares its lichenous nostrils as you draw near. Master would be impressed. So I guess that means I got the upgrades. I think you have to get three skulls to get like the the max upgrades. I think. Can't remember. Eh, eh. Right, let's teleport the vase up here. Maybe there's some goodies in there. Let's not kill Sir Laura. Oop. Anything? No. Sir Laura, I'm sorry. Okay, anything else I can teleport up here? Nope. Alright. Let's just go back in and put my gloves back on. Okay, so we got one more school. Doing okay. And, whoa, a little laggy there. We can go in here. Or we can go up out here. But I don't think. Let's see, which is the best route? Is there a back entrance somewhere around here? I can't remember. I don't think so. So, do I want to go that way or do I want to go through here? I think we want to go through here. So, let's save scum again. Another skull crumbled to bits. Yep. Watch out for the trap. Come here. The pressure points will open the doors, but that isn't all. There's a trap somewhere here. A trap that will lock all the doors at once. Where? See what's in the base. Or the balls. What trap? Here or the other one? This should be another spot where I get the skull, right? I want to talk to... Who is that? Radis Varus. <laughs> okay. Alright. Um, Look out! Whee! Alright, so we got... Yeah, I have to get the barrel again. Good thing they give us these barrels. 
Watch out for the traps. Woo! Yep. There goes that. Look out! Damn it, no! <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna have to save scum probably. Sit in a chair. The spikes. Look at that. <laughs> Alright. Um Yeah, with all my wits you think I would be able to see this stuff sooner. So I'm gonna load save scum here. Or load scum I should say. Just to get through this. Otherwise, it could take a while. I think I might have just screwed myself generally there. I'm not entirely sure. Where am I going? Another skull crumbled to bits. Yeah. I wonder what he was talking about when he said. I recognize this place from a bit of flesh I tasted. Oh yeah. The pressure points will open the doors, but that isn't all. Yeah, there's, there's a trap somewhere here. A trap that will lock all the doors at once. Careful now, that's a trap. Don't want to go in here. No. <sighs> See, that's that's one thing that annoys me about this game is like if you click on the oil, you'll just automatically avoid it. Do like with the game's pathfinding. Even though you're clicking on the oil to go on the oil, it'll still go around it and then force itself to walk in the trap. It's like, eh, just click where I tell you to. Like, I, I mean, I get it when I'm just clicking an overall thing, like if I were to just click here from the distance. But when it comes to me just like actually trying to walk into stuff, it's like, okay, guys, come on. Come on. Like that. I click into Careful here, now, and it's like, no, we're going to put you in the oil. Careful. I spotted a trap. So you have to go like two miles an hour here. Look out. I see a trap nearby. Squeaky. 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 Thank goodness Sir Laura doesn't set off traps. Okay, what's over here? Where's the rat? I want to talk to the rat. Oh, Mr. Rat. Where are you, my friend? Where do you go? Where is he? There he is. Hello? And he disappeared again. I can see him on the map. Okay, there you are. Come here. You're not lost. Also, you look all weird and sinister. Yeah. And you look kind of dangerous. So I immediately wish I hadn't just called you sinister. Don't hurt me. I can't help myself. <laughs> can't help itself. That's what it means by that. Tell the rat to watch its tongue or you'll cut it out. Take your leave. Number one. It's a curse. Or possibly a reorganization of the string inside me brain. I'm only able to tell the truth. And I can't stop telling the truth. Ask if you can help. Note that telling the truth is not usually considered a bad thing. Um... Ask if I can help. Yes, I think you can. Yes. A short, sharp shock of something magical will untangle the wool in my head, and I'll be free to lie all I want. Clarify. It wants you to use magic on it. Won't that risk killing it? Ask what's in it for you. Walk away. Let's clarify. I'd rather hope you know the answer to that. It's your power to wield, after all. I have faith in you for all your many manifest flaws. Tell the rat to watch its mouth. Fine, you'll use magic on the rat. Sod this. <laughs> Sod this. Take your leave. All right, fine. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You're not as mean as you look stupid. It closes its eyes, steals itself for what's coming. I don't know. I don't think this is going to work. I can't remember if it does or not. Um, we have... What am I... Pretty sure I had a, my shock spell in here. Yeah. Uh, that won't kill it. So that should be fine to use, right? Unless it crits. With my luck, it probably will. All right, let's see what happens. Negative five. What? He wanted me to. It's done. Brilliant. Ask the rat if the magic worked. Dip your head in acknowledgement and take your leave. No, it didn't. The rat gives you a mischievous look. 
holds it for a long moment, then... Ah! See? It totally works! I can lie again! With a new bounce in its tail, the rat wanders away. Yeah, I'm glad I get out. <laughs> it's done! Brilliant! Bye, handsome! See? I can lie! This is the best day of me life! That was me telling the truth, by the way. Because now, you don't know, I'm in charge of my own destiny again. <laughs> <laughs> With a new bounce in its tail, the rat wanders away. <laughs> the writing and voice acting is so good. Okay, um... How the hell are we going to get out of here? Oh yeah, we got another skull over there. Alright, slowly, because we do not want to lose... Well, actually, I guess it doesn't matter now, because we already made it through there, so... Careful, I spotted a trap. Okay, where's the next door? Um, ooh, there's a chest in there. How does one get the, ch the thing in here? That's what I can't remember. Yeah. Careful. Alright, let's go through here. Oh, yeah, I already went through here. But I'm pretty sure there wasn't anything in the vase. But, like, what? Don't want to open that. Guess there's no way to get the other ones over here. I mean, this is, like, going to open us up into the next room. So, I guess we'll just go over there. Ooh. Careful now. That's a trap. Yep, there goes that. Another skull crumbled to bits. Okay, well, we are in the tower room now. Oh, we got another scroll here. So I can at least get that chest. That's what I wanted to do. See what's in the chest. Another skull crumbled to bits. <clears throat> you need, I'm usually bad at puzzles, but I'm doing okay here. Hey, you got some identified gloves. All right. Consume. Yeah, that was worth it. That's, uh, yeah. That's that. Okay, so we can do the tower first, or we can do the pirate one. Uh, since we're here, I guess we'll just go ahead and do the tower. Now I'm going to save it here because there's another, I think, riddle or something here with this guy, right? I think he, I forget what he does. Stern eyes and a sterner face <clears throat> and stare into your very soul. Under the inescapable gaze, you begin to shiver uncontrollably. Yeah, yeah. Another crawling rat, tracking your stinking paws beneath my nose. Vermin are not tolerated in my house. Be gone! Fold your arms. You have no intention of leaving. Bowing before the statue, apologize profusely for your presence. Back away hastily. Let's just be a, a jerk and then say reload. Do not doubt my power. I merely wish you gone. You are gone. Be gone! Now that's it. <laughs> he just teleports you away. Let's see what happens if I talk to him again. How rude. Is that the actual, like, avatar brackish rats? Back sniffing around where you don't belong. Lee, do not doubt Bow my power. Touch. I merely... Okay. Well, <laughs> I guess we just won't talk to him then. I'm going to load it. Because I'm curious if, if we bow the first time, will we get a different result? Or will he always just send you back? Probably. Stern eyes. Another crawling. Do not doubt. Yep. If I just back away hastily, will that do something? I mean, it's kind of pointless at this point, right? Because you're already in the maze, so it just makes you have to walk back. Stern eyes and another. Okay, yeah, it doesn't really seem to do anything. Okay, let's go up here. The stony gaze of the gargoyle pins you to the spot as it spreads its wings before you. You. You have earned your reward. Damn straight. Oh, hey there. Ooh. That's good too, but that armor. 
think we're going to have to take that armor, you guys. Two to summoning. That's fine. I'll miss out on... Um, well, fire resistance is nice too, but I'll get earth. But I'll take the two to summoning over two to ge geomancer, and it's just an upgrade all, all together. Sweet. That is cool. Let's manage runes. What do we want here? More physical armor. I think we're going to go that route for sure. Oop. So that puts me at from 18 to 19. Okay. Not bad. Could be better, but not bad. And it looks nice too. Yeah. Look at that. It gives me a cape. I mean, wings are pretty dope, but capes are awesome, right? So let's take that off. And yeah, we got ourselves a new 14 to summoning. Our incarnate is going to be wrecking stuff. Let's save that. Hell yeah. Alright. Now, our, unfortunately, our Geomancer isn't going to be that great. We are getting low in the Geomancer. Uh, I'm going to have to part, start putting more points into that. Eventually. We're almost leveled up. We're going to need more points into memory. Uh, that dual wheeling idea isn't going as planned. <laughs> and yeah, so I, I still need to put a point into Necromancer and Hydrosophus. Just because... I mean, I guess I don't have to do that, to be perfectly honest. If I just keep... I'll just keep gear that gives me one point in each so I can cast Blood Rain whenever I need to. Because there are going to be some instances in the future where I, where I will need to be using Blood Rain. So it's kind of a waste to just put it in there if I'm not going to use it otherwise. I'd rather put the points into Geomancer or Dual Wielding. And... Anything else? Yeah, that's it, really. Geomancer, Dual Wielding. Pyrokinetic, we don't need either. Okay, okay. Wait, what's this? Scoundrel? Scoundrel book. We can sell that. Oh, I don't remember when I got this. I mean, the resistances are nice, but quite frankly, I'd rather keep my two to initiative. I got 28 initiative. So that's pretty decent, right? Okay, so we're going to go in here in this tower, and these soul jars are the ones that are going to be inside there. So multiple ways we can do this. We could just destroy the soul jars now, and they'll be dead when we go in there. You'll see them over here talking at the table. Court eunuch to speak only truth and he admitted pleasing back as his mistress. There's Tamsin. Yes, there's Quick. And there's Rask. Ah, how about the time Bracus asked me to cast? The dance macabre. Yes, I recall. <laughs> and the time I traveled to. Yes. But what about. Yes. <laughs> yes. And Please, shut up. Okay, so we could destroy them now, or I think we can actually give them to them. I can't remember what happens if we do that. Destroying them just makes it easier. I think you still get the same amount of XP, but I could be wrong. As you enter the room, you see three skeletons sitting around a table, cards in hand. They creak and turn to stare at you. Another cadaver. Clearly, we were not the only ones to suffer Bracus's wrath. The more your skull the less sense you make, Rask. Use your sight. He's drenched in sauce. Aye, Bracus had see us made emperors before he throws that much sauce away. You a jailer then, darling? Here to keep an eye socket on these old bones? Insist that you're no jailer. You've nothing to do with their imprisonment. Lie and say that you're indeed their jailer here to check on their prisoners. Eh, let's be honest. You're not one of Bracus's brood. You're not Gratiana's pet. Then why do you disturb us? The creature yearns for our secrets. Did I not say that word would spread of our genius? Even after the maggots took your tongue, you still talk too much. Silence your jaw. Kratiana, do they mean the priestess that you met in the sanctuary? Assure them you have no interest in their secrets, but you'd like to know why they're here. Ask the loser what he's talking about. Observe that they've been here for far too long. What holds them to this place? Let's do the mystic. The vile magic of the soul jar binds us here. 
We cannot die, but nor can we live. Our souls are lashed to this plane, never to enjoy the rest of the Hall of Echoes. Oh. It ain't the afterlife I had planned, if I'm honest. I was sure that they won't drink it. Ask if there's any way to free them from their curse. Take your leave. Let's ask. Destroying the soul jars that find us here. There is no other way. But beware. They are found in a treasure vault guarded by traps of a cunning not seen in a thousand years. They... By the horns of Valkyrie, if you design one reasonable trap and won't shut up about it for centuries. And thine were better. Couldst thou have brought forth such cunning use of light? Oh, mine did not constantly disintegrate the laborers building them. The fault was in thine zombies. The worms in your skull follow instruction better than they. Wait, Brack has hid their, soul, their souls in a vault guarded by traps which they design? Tell them to stop. If they'd worked together instead of arguing, they might have escaped by now. Um... Let's tell them to stop. We have spent centuries trying to escape this tower, but our power was too weak. There was no hope of freedom. At least until your gorgeous self opened the door. Now we just need the source from your pretty little corpse, and then we're free. Tell them to wait. Maybe you can talk about this? Strike an arrogant pose. If they think Brachus was bad, they should see your curses. Intelligence. Reason with them. Say you could destroy their soul jars and free them. Treacherous necromancers, draw your weapon and defend yourself. Uh, I kind of want to do this drag blood. Worse than this? Can such a thing be true? Thou art fortunate. When I still wore scales, I would have cut you down without a thought. But time brings perspective. And perspective brings mercy. You are permitted to live, Magus. How's about a trade? Our deaths for your, well, let's call it life. You walk out of here and leave us your word that you'll destroy our soul jars. Agree to end their suffering, decline, and take your leave. Yes, agree. Trusting a pup to do a hound's work. It seems foolish. I'm no pup. But very well. Mark the location thus. And do not disappoint us. Do you ever wonder why you're still here? You have a vault to uncover and a soul jar to destroy. Wonder about Brachus Rex. What was he doing here? Ask about Gratiana's aspect. The skeleton turns and spits, producing a gob of dust that wafts slowly to the ground. Brachus is whore. And more besides, she helped his rise to power, feeding him the source of the innocent as she went. She were a canny lass, no question. Treacherous and deceitful. She could lie better than any. She murdered countless innocents. Women, children. Families, towns. Her blood ran colder than mine. Wonder about Brecker's Rex. This was a research facility. Safe place for him to research and for us to test his weapons. You didn't ever see him without a book in his hand. Always reading about some ancient race. He weren't the sharing kind. But he found something good in there. But the historian guy said he didn't like squirrels in books. The results of his research allowed us to recreate Persian ones based on an ancient design he found. Much of our research was built off what that which went before. He was convinced that great ancient knowledge lay in this land. Greater intellects than mine. The fool's madness knew no bounds. Hmm. <laughs> Why are you still here? Okay. And if I talk to her, it's going to be the same thing. Why are you still here? Yeah, same thing. Okay. Well, I guess I can go ahead and oh, empty the jars. The jar stands before you, cold. And still. Smash it to a pieces. Human spirit splits from the ruins of the jar. Decked in necromancer robes, she turns to you, bows, and starts to fade away to nothing. Yes, you did. Yeah, you ready? The jar seems quieter now. It sits still. The jar shatters like glass, but a spirit rises from the shards like smoke. The ghost of a dwarf, bedecked in necromancer robes, winks and blows you a kiss before slowly fading to nothing. Beautiful. Thank you. My death waits. All right, and Rask. The pictograms on the jar stand fixed and still. I forget what happens when you eat it. I think it just gives you source. 
but I can't, yeah, I can't, I can't remember because I never really you needed see to. You see a shape emerge from the ruins of the broken jar, a lizard in the finest necromancer robes. It grudgingly nods at you as it starts to fade from the mortal realm. Farewell to flesh. Farewell to bone. Farewell. All right, well, glad to be of service, I guess. Anything in the... Ooh, hey, poison flask, all right. Always worth looking in vases. And urns, and barrels, and carts, and crates. Consume. Okay. So we leveled up, ladies and gentlemen. Which means... Doo -doo 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 -doo, point of memory. And I should probably put another point into strength, to be perfectly honest. Because I do get overcumbered a lot, and it's starting to get annoying. So let's do that. Another point into strength. And not give me anything. All right, now, how do we want to do this? Just keep going, geomancer, or do a wielding. I'm thinking geomancer because it just buffs up my fortify and stuff like that. So it's probably worth it. Yeah, I mean. Mm. Dual wielding is good though, but I. Th yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Um. Yeah, let's do Geomancer. I'm gonna stick with the buffing route. So we just need to put five points into that to max it out. And we got a new. What is this? Talent. That's right. Ambidextrous. And bigger and better. Grants you two extra attribute points to spend. I don't really need that right now. Comeback kid. Don't need that. Elemental affinity. No. Far out man. Increases the range of skills and scrolls. Does not affect melee and touch range. No. Gladiator. When you're, every time you hit with a melee cut. No. Greedy Vessel, it's that. Every time someone casts a source spell in combat, you gain a 20% chance. You receive a 20% chance of gaining a source point. I mean, that's cool, but I don't really want that right now. Uh, Haymaker, your attacks never miss, but can no. Hothead, when you are at maximum vitality, Hothead grants you an extra 10% critical chance and 10% more accuracy. I and mean, that's cool, but do I really want that right now? Game immunity, immunity to stun, frozen, knockdown, polymorph, petrified, crippled for one turn after being affected by one. You can happen once. I mean, that's cool, but I don't really want that either. Leech, no. Living armor. Uh, I mean, that's good, but do I really want that right now? Not really. No. No. I mean, mnemonic is good. I'm eventually probably going to have to get that, but, but for now, let's see. Opportunity, no. Parry, no. No. Sadis. Uh, no. Savage Sortilage. Gives all magical skills a critical chance equal to your critical chance score. That might be worth getting. Especially when my crit's getting up there. Well, I mean, well, 16% is not exactly up there at this point, but you get the idea. Soul Catcher. When an allied character dies, a zombie crawler. No. Stench. No. Torturer. Torture is always good. Certain statuses caused by you are no longer blocked by magic or physical armor. The duration is extended by one turn. Burning, poison, bleeding, necrofire, acid, suffocating, entangled, death wish, and ruptured tendons are affected by this talent. See, now if that works with the incarnate and my totems, then that's really, really good. But I don't know if that works with them. I mean, even working with me, it's good too, I guess. Well, not really, because all I do is just, like, oil damage with my abilities. Um, but if that works with my guys, eh, that's a hard one. That's a tempting one. The duration is extended by one turn. That's really good. Unstable. What makes you explode? No. Walk it off. No. What a rush. Um. Hmm. 
There's a lot of options here. I mean, which of these do I really want? I, I think I'm going to try Torture to see if, if it works with... But if it doesn't work with them, then that's going to be a huge waste. And I'm not really... I mean, I guess I do use effects with my... Wands, right? Does... But I don't think I don't know if my wands actually light people on fire and stuff. I think it just does damage. I think I should know this, given how many times I've played this game. But I don't know. Block no longer blocked by damage. Physical arm. Necro fire. You know what? I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get torture. Just yeah. Because eventually I might be doing other abilities, like fire abilities or more poison stuff. So it's worth, it's probably worth having. Hopefully it works with the summons. We'll see. Civil abilities. It's like really hard to get those. I already do all skilled up. Yeah. Okay. Moving up in Geomancer. We are now level eight. Cool beans. Better quick save it. Do, 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 do. Let's move over here. We got the key. And yeah, we'll get that skull too. Might as well. Worth some money. I don't think we're going to have time to do the pirate mission in this video. So we'll do that with the next video, which is fine. A lot of goodies in here. Pick it up. Okay. Boop. 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 Nothing. Boop. Nothing. Anything over here? Nothing? Soap. Whoopee. Any goodies in here? Oh, teleportation scroll. Always good. Jar of maggots. Really nice. Nothing in the books. Whoops. Let's just read it. Forward. The, this tome introduces the reader to life and stories of blah, 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 blah. After family become a summer. Okay, we already read that. Uh, what's this? Leonard tells the most precious rose, the blood rose, prized by kings and men from ancient times. The blood rose grows only in soil suffused with suffering and fertilized with filth. In the days of Bracchus Rex, the rose was grown using methods esoteric and vile, the only methods proven to grow the rare blossom. The perfumer Awanol persuaded Bracchus to bury the bones of the tortured dead within a deep cave. He sowed the seeds within their emptied skulls, watered with the tears of the tortured living. In such a soil, the blood rose flourished. The scholars say that even today, were you to find this mythical cavern, the rose would grow there still. I mean, that's cool, but, like, you don't actually ever see the blood roses, right? I don't think I ever did. Oh, wait. I'm a moron. I have one. Duh. Yeah. Okay, well, now we know. Any other goodies? Contrary to what you thought this book would be about, it's more of a political pamphlet against all authority or hierarchical organization. Where the author uses the well-known firestorm grenade as a symbol for the burning desire of the agitators that use it. The book itself is, like its simile, is a highly... The book, like itself is, is a highly okay, amateur affair. Fortunately, at the back of the book, there's a very detailed illustration of a firestorm grenade, along with an exact list of ingredients. Ooh, take a sheet of paper. Crafting Bible. This rare little tome... We already see that. New recipes. Give me. Okay, I'm up to 140 inventory capacity. Any goodies over here? Who's that? You approach the still body and see its nostrils flaring. Long dead eyes rise to meet yours. As you lean in close, it lurches forward. Its arms thrash against the cage bars as it tries to reach you. Looks like it hasn't been fed in a very long time. Wow. Can I pick the lock? So I can kill this guy. Nope. Doesn't have a... Can I just kill him? Attack? Ah, no crap. Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> oh, he has erratic energy too. Run away! You trying to save me. No, he doesn't have any armor or anything. No buffs. That's fine. Still doing a crap load of damage. 
Look at that. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that is awesome. Look how freaking awesome that looks. Ugh, I love it. That is like the coolest looking crap. Okay. Uh, let's move you off of this and put you on our tab 2. And then get the zombie. Is it? Does he have food? Nope. Bone armor. Okay, that chest is cursed. Which is why it's all gluey and creepy. What's this? Worm trimmer? Alright, I got that. Anything in there? Feather? No, not something I'm really interested in. Okay, um, I think if we bless the chest. believe oh yeah devour this claws it's a cold to the touch a prickle travels up the back of your neck warning that you're being watched flickers of memory fill your mind you long for solitude the subtle scent of parchment wrinkles your nose fresh ink stains your fingertips the memory vanishes burned away by heat ash falls from the sky as a growling whisper addresses you I see you, and inside you is the strength I've been looking for. Ask who the voice belongs to. Keep on listening. Demand to know whose memories those were. Try to dispel the vision. Uh, keep on listening. You must find that place of longing in the home of a young scholar. I will draw strength from there to speak again. As the heat around you fades, the desperate memory returns. It claws at you, trying to take hold, then slips away completely. Mm -hmm. Devourer's research notes. Notes on the armor of the Devourer. Crafted in the ancient empire between 400 and 500 AR, but not by the empire, no. To bring a new ruler to their proper ascension. It was forged by a lizard who named herself the Outlaw Empress, exiled from the nobility for the warped turn of her jaw. What does that mean? What petty madness, but I will benefit. There are five pieces in total. Gauntlets, sabatons, leggards, helmet, and a chest plate. I have recovered the gauntlets, but a strange sensation washes over me when I hold them. A voice calls to me in the dark, burning-like. No matter, I uncovered some etchings of the outlaw empress's cult. She served as the voice of the dragon. Her cultists use a flaming arrowhead symbol to mark their secret gathering places. I wonder what else they may be hiding. Either way, it seems I would require a fire room to open the true path. So that's just hinting at hey, future stuff to get the Devourer set, which is a pretty awesome set. And we just have to, you know, like get the rest of it. But you have to, you can only get them across like multiple acts. Because it's a level 20 set. I believe it's a level 20, yeah. Pretty sure it's a level 20 set. Um, okay. I think we got everything we can here. I'm out of source, so I think I can, I can wasn't there some source outside? I don't know if I'm going to need source. There we go. Yeah, gimme, gimme. And I think there's still some where the scholar guy was. Or did I already get that one? I think I already got that one. I take that back. Okay. If I step on here. Man. Okay. Now. <laughs> um. We need a crate. Oh, metal crate. I want. Yeah, I think that might be immune to fire. I don't have any telekinesis though, or do I? Uh, no, I do not. Do I have an? I think didn't I have something that gave telekinesis? I thought I kept something specifically that because it gave telekinesis, so that I can move stuff around with me mind. I guess not. Devourer is set. Put that in the armor. Where is the armor? Boots and belts. Wow, they even separate like the gauntlets and stuff. I'll just put it with the armor. Okay. I can teleport this up to me. Got me. Let me just put you over there. 
See, this thing has like a million hit points. It's like that for a reason. And it's really heavy. Wow, really heavy. Which means there should be something in it. But nope. Not enough strength. Alright, well, I'll just teleport you over here. And then we can get back there. It's a lot of goodies back there. Almost done. This is a long video. Um, Alright, let's get over there before it takes a, too much of a beating. I heard something. Something seemed to move into place. I think that's for outside. I forget. Um, tattered blueprint. Upon this page is drawn a blueprint of a tome or vault of some sort. Underneath the drawing, words are scribbled seemingly at random. The words illusions and brackish rex are circled multiple times. And an arrow points to a particular room. The words soul jars are written. So that's just describing the vault. Um, I always end up doing this last, the maze, generally, just because of the way the map is laid out. But it's funny because like it, there's a lot of stuff in here that kind of points to doing the vault later. So it's like, oh, we want you to do the vault later. But that's that's the, the awesomeness of this game, is that there is, you know, you don't have to go in a certain path. It's not linear at all. You can do, like, you can walk to the very end of the act if you want to, but at the beginning. I mean, not always, but, you know, like in some areas. In his short description of rogues, in a short description of a particular specimen of vagabond he claims to have encountered in his travels across the land, Hubert talks of shadowy skills largely involving short blades and the ability to liberate people of their belongings with or without their prior knowledge, or indeed their survival. So, he's talking about, like, scoundrels. Anything in here? Better get out of here before that chest gets destroyed. More sheets of paper. Can use that to make scrolls, which I need to start doing. More, uh, What was the scroll that I really, really wanted to do? This code is known by all and followed by none. The most interesting part relates how you should refrain from drinking intelligence potions, detailing the dangers of addiction. It also contains a detailed recipe for how to brew them with the <laughs> with the calicora? Calicera? I don't know how that is said. Trying to illustrate the potion's dangers. You happily copy the recipe over to your little recipe book. All right. I guess I already had that one. Anything in here? What's this? Crafting Bible? Blah, 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 blah. More goodies. 11 new recipes. All right. Okay, we can get out of here then. Hopefully the the uh, crate is still there. Otherwise, it's going to complicate things. Oh, it stopped. All right, that's cool. Take the skull. Didn't I eat these already? Jelly? Blue yeah, jelly? Uh-oh. All right, what's over here? Garbage. Among the long crumbled remains of the temple that must have once sheltered his shrine, the stone effigy of a god seems to invite you to put your hands in his. Okay. There's another rat in here. Okay, this we have to put water in a well over here, I believe. You approach a decrepit well and stare down into its toothless black mouth. No sooner has your head crossed the rim than weak voices begin to echo from the depths. Thirst, dry throats, drink water, water. Okay, I'll just use the. Well, actually, I don't have to do that. I don't want to waste the scroll when I can do that. All right. I actually have a lot of stuff in here that I can do. Let's uh, like do that. Not you, not you. Go back to number one. We'll do restore there. And we'll do rain over here. Yeah. Goo. Oh, this too. Actually, I think I'd rather have the water infusion than the rain because that can probably come in more handy 
Um, uh, actually, I can get rid of Bless and do Rain. Because I don't really need Bless for, unless it's for specific things. This isn't really a buff, but whatever. So maybe I'll get that over here. All right. The well is now filled to the brim with fresh, cool water. But what it has brought to the surface quickly evaporates any wish you may have had to quench your own thirst. You see the tangled remains of three corpses. A mixed mass of bones and skin from which three skulls protrude. They address you in unison. Their voices are drone-like blend. We thank you for the water. We bless you for the water. We thank you for the end of the water. Say that it was your pleasure. True thirst is a horror. This truly is undeath was undeath worse than death. Ask who tormented themselves. So. Tell them you'd like to know who it was saved. You saved of sorts. Um, let's just say it's my pleasure, because we already know who it is. Oh. Tell them you like to know who it was you say you saved. We are the brothers of Baladur. Truth speakers, wish granters, dream readers. Three brothers, three sages, thrice cursed. Ask if they can read your fortune. Wonder why they were cursed. It's uh, ask if they can read my fortune. Never more. Never more. Not since we displeased the man Brachus Rex. The truth. We spoke his fortune told. No divinity would he be. Oh. And so he entangled our bodies and cursed our thoughts. Smoked the truth speaking through. We thank you for the water. We bless you for the water. We ask you for a fair. Ask what the fair is they are seeking. The fair. The toll. The lead. The people of Baladur must be buried with coin. Coin for the path that leads the dead to the kingdom beyond. You're yeah, talking about river sticks. Spare us coin. Grant us coin. The more you pay, the further the path keeper takes us. Say you're ready to pay their fare. Ask what they will give you in return. Opt not to proceed with their request right now. I'll pay the fare. Sweet safe. Say you can spare a small amount. Tell them you have more than enough to keep the Pathkeeper pleased. Be generous and say their afterlife is worth a mad king's ransom. Let's be generous. Got plenty of money. We thank you again. We bless you again. The wealth of the depths is yours. Pathkeeper, keep us. Pathkeeper, guide us. To the long-awaited kingdom we will go. Laden with the burden of the coin you gave them, the brothers of Balador sink back to the bottom of the well. Whether they will find their kingdom or languish in the dark, wet depths forever, you cannot foretell. The fare has been paid, and the well is silent. A rare speck of peace in a hostile land. Cute. What did I get for it? Scoundrel, really? Really? I mean, 51 HP is nice, 51 water resistance is nice, but scoundrel of all things? <laughs> Come on. Oh, well, it's not a bad rank. I'll just sell it. Okay, let's finish this up. This video is getting really long. Um, Where is that rat? There you are. Careful now. That's trap. Yikes. Eh, can't click on it. You can never click on these things. You don't look lost at all. That's the rat if you've been sarcastic. Sarcastic me, not at all. I'd never be sarcastic me. Oh, no, not in the least. Tell the rat he still sounds sarcastic. Ask the rat what knows about this place. Eh, what is it? The rat's it? eyes widen. I don't know anything about this place. Nor do I know anything about a blood rose or a witch or some dead people. Ask about this non-existent blood rose. Ask the rat what it does know about the rich. Ask about these so-called dead people. Oh, yes. Dead people. oh, yes, that's right. I'm so going to give you all the information you want while you do nothing for me. Presuming it's being sarcastic again, ask the rat what you can do for it. Look, I don't have a problem that means I can't tell the truth, and I don't want you to help me fix it. It makes a face that says, understand. Whatever, take your leave. Ask what, cure, what may cure this pro troublesome affliction. The rat gives you a grave and meaningful look, inviting you to listen carefully. 
I don't think the problem is in my head, and further to that, I don't think the problem could be unscrambled by the use of cells. I can categorically state that a short, sharp shot with something of a magical persuasion would absolutely not solve my problem immediately. And I do not invite you to look at the subtext in what I just said. All right, you say you'll see what you can do. You don't know what subtext is, or you don't care. Bid the rat a good day. Ask if the rat, if you use your magic on it, would kill it. Magic would kill it. The hero. Um. You are not a bastard. Oh, that's like pointless. Big turn again. It's lovely to see you again. I'd be devastated were you to, for example. Okay, so can I shock it or can I? Heal it with because it's its source. Where did it go? Be still. Can I bless it? I don't have any shock. Hmm. I'd have to buy another scroll. I want to help it. I'm gonna save scum and then bless it. See if that does anything. Where did it go? Yep, that didn't do it. <laughs> Kills him. Uh, okay, well, that didn't work. Yeah, we'll just maybe go buy a scroll if we can find one somewhere. Or maybe I can make one. Let's see. Grimoire. Blinding Radiance. Would Blinding Radiance count? Electrical Discharge. A rabbit's paw. Uh, where the hell would I get a rabbit's paw? Heretic wisp. Soothing. Blah 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 blah. Yeah, like where the hell? Like I've never. I don't think I've ever seen a rabbit's paw. I mean, maybe dimensional bolt, and just keep hitting it and healing it to see if it gets lucky. You can try that. Where do you go? Beat down. Get back here. Hey. Yeah, man. Really? It's not working. Can't see it. That was ice. Give me. Give me. Shocking. No. Okay, that didn't do it either. I hear it. No. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's try this again. I want to do this. It's just like the dimensional bolt's completely random. So it's kind of, you yeah, know, risky. Should have saved it. Okay, let's try this again. Where am I? Okay, it's over there. Be still. Okay, shocked it. Talk to it. It's lovely to see you again. Okay, so it's I guess that didn't work. Um. Uh, This one? Do I have to agree to do it first? Get 
back here. You don't look lost at all. That's a right, Richard. Okay. I don't know anything about this place. Nor do I. Oh, yes. Oh, Presume yes, it's okay. It makes a face that says the rat gives. I don't think the problem is in my head. And further to that, I don't think the problem could be unscrambled by the use of sauce. I can categorically state that a short, sharp shot with something of a magical persuasion would absolutely. And I do not. All right, you see what you can do. Subtext in what I just said. The rat gives you a long stare that tries and fails to say, of course not. Right. The rat breathes a long sigh of relief. Close. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, let's do that one. Okay, so that didn't do it. That was poison. I hope this works. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm gonna have to get a scroll. Come all the way back here, but maybe I'll do that in another video. Oops, I didn't save it. Um, where's the totem? Let's do that one. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Okay, fire this time. This might take a while, you guys. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying it. <laughs> but I want to help this rat. I just want to see what happens. I don't think I've ever did this before. That was blood. Or was was that an electric one? Did he get it? You still don't look lost. He looks at you as if to say Okay, yeah, they didn't do it. I think that was yeah, blood surface. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Oil. I mean, would a blinding radiant skull do it? Because that would be considered electrical or, or at least air damage, right? I mean, maybe I could just shoot it with an air wand. I mean, that's possible. Let's try that. No. You still don't look locked. That didn't work. Come on. Give me electrical. I'm getting every single one except for the electrical. What do we got here? Burning. Eh. This is what saves coming is, ladies and gentlemen. Especially when it comes to things of a random nature. Okay, that's sh said shocked, right? So that you still don't look lost. He looks at you. Okay. Well, I shocked it. You still don't look. All right, so I'm I'm convinced that I can't do it with a dimensional bullet. I probably have to do it with that specific ability. So we'll come back and try it another time. Or can we? Because like. Okay, he's not running this time. No. Nope. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Water isn't the same. It should be like... Maybe if we put... Well, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'll, I'll bail on this one for now. We'll come back to you. Just wait there, buddy. All right, what do we got over here? Any goodies? Goodies for Jarek? Ooh, goodies. In darkest night, put on your mask and decant one out one poison flask. Into that murk, then will absorb a fresh and juicy round source orb. Then at what? Then at completion of your task, in your hands a cursed poison flask. Alrighty. Cursed poison flask. Nasty. The air around the glowing relic thrums with power as the source barrier quietly crackles in the background. 
Shouldn't Witherspoon, whatever his name is, be able to open this? The air around the glowing relic thrums with power as the source barrier quietly crackles in the background. Reach out and touch the relic. As you stretch towards it, you start to hear whispers in the back of your mind. From the corner of your eye, you see dark shadows rising. Pull your hand back, lay your hand on the relic. As your fingertips brush the surface, the whispers turn to screams. Your fingers burn with cold as you pull them away, and you can feel a darkness twisting in your gut. Summon elemental damage. Take a rock and smash this cell onto the elemental magic. The relic against your power, but as your magic subsides, you see it's done nothing. It will take more powerful magic than that, it seems. Take a rack and the smash it. The rock bounces harmlessly off the surface, not leaving a mark. All right. The hum of the relic grows louder, and bright light starts to spill from its runes. Cracks start to spread across the surface, and it shatters like glass. Fine, I'll use my stupid source. Okay, this is the last room. Laws. Chain lightning, arrow dirge. Oof. You hit the rat with that. One shot it. Okay, I think this, like, some guys pop out somewhere around here. If I'm not mistaken. I might have to open one of the vases or a chest or something. Let's just see what's in here first. Okay, what's in the barrels? Nothing. Woo! It's worth a decent amount. Any upgrades? I don't know. One to sneaking. Alright. Really? Too heavy? Do I have a strength potion? That's another reason why it's good to get your strength up. Alright, so we're probably going to have to come back to this then because for sure we need to get in there. Pretty sure we need to get in there. Um, yeah, we're going to have to come back here. Okay, well, I think we'll end the video here in that case. Because I don't have enough strength to do anything. Going to have to buy an item or something that gives strength. I don't know how much you need to open that. Uh, so, yeah. Either way, uh, we'll call it a day. Thanks for watching, you guys. Be sure to like, share, subscribe if you want. If not, then don't. It's up to you. I give you autonomy. Anyway, this has been Jarek Deviler. Playing Divinity Original Sin 2. Have a good morning, afternoon, evening, and night, depending on where you are. I'm out.